I'm so excited to resume Necessary Realness. Thank you for being patient with the show. Okay, let's get to your questions. Ileana, how do you feel about Jordan going on tour? Will you and Ro visit him? I'm obviously going to miss him. I think it's definitely going to be a little bit of a transition because we've been so fortunate to spend so much time together. But I also knew that this was always going to be a part of the plan. This was always going to happen. I was always going to go back to work. He was always going to go tour. I mean, I definitely am so fortunate and so grateful and so blessed to have had help through this period of time with Ro. I've had two women help me thus far who, shout out to them, like God sends these women. So caring, so considerate, so helpful. And I've said to them on more than one occasion, I don't want to just hand off my screaming baby to you because when I'm alone and you're not around, I need to know how to calm her down. So we do the feedings. We do bath time, just us. It's really important to us that we do that 630 every night. And I don't think we're going to have somebody when he leaves. And yeah, it's only three months. I feel like it'll go by really fast. And in the beginning, he'll fly home a lot. So we'll make it work. I mean, that's just what you do. Timo, Timo, pancakes or waffles? There is a correct answer. Waffles. I'm all about waffles. Waffles over pancakes. Pancakes is too mushy. I feel like pancakes are what you throw up and then you eat that after. I feel like waffles at least have some crunch and definition, right? Am I right? Helen, Helen. Do you recognize a change in your personality from pre to post baby? For instance, I became an overly cautious driver and I don't go out so late. It's as if I suddenly saw everything that can go wrong all the time. I have definitely not changed in my driving skills. Like I don't want to go out to dinner every single night, right? Like I feel like if I'm if I go to dinner one night, I'm definitely gonna be home the next night because I just feel like I want to spend as much time with her as possible. But I definitely still feel like myself, and I definitely love her more than anything. But I definitely know that it's very important for me to have a balance in my life. You need to have your own identity, and I want her to see her mom doing something. I could have lunch every single day and not lift a goddamn finger, but that's not what I really want her to see, and that's not really what I want for myself. So no, I haven't really changed that much. Um, ba, 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 what else? Shanice Olabo. Tell us more about the inspiration for this latest Morgan Stewart sports collection. I have had Yacht Club in my mind for a really long time. When I was in Monaco a few years ago, there is a Monaco Yacht Club that a friend of mine is a member of, and they have these navy blue blazers on with this sort of patch. And I remember thinking like, God, that is so f- cheap. And then it just came to me when I was pregnant. Like, I definitely want to do that. That was this inspiration behind it. I always sort of come up with these things from real life experiences and stuff that happens. And I'm like, oh, We'll do that. L Tilly says, what are the downsides to motherhood that surprise you? And no, you won't be a bad mom for admitting it. Thank you. I appreciate that. No judgment. The downside to motherhood, there was really no downsides. It was more that she went through a spurt of having really bad gas and she was screaming her head off to the point where I just felt like something was really, really wrong and not being able to soothe her and make her feel better was really challenging because you you get almost angry because you're like, well, what, what am I? I don't know what's wrong. What do you want me to do? And then when the real tears started coming, forget it. I mean, for get it. That was the worst. And then her face gets so red and her eyes get so green. I'm like, bitch, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. I see through you. Pearlexi says, do you find it challenging to be intimate as a new mom? That's a question. No, but thank you for that. Um, I don't find it intimate to be, I don't find it challenging to be intimate. I find it challenging to speak words in English, apparently, because I haven't done that in so long. I'm getting, um, I'm getting positive texts. There is a brand new episode of Necessary Realness every Saturday, so make sure you what? Subscribe. Subscribe, okay? Did I say subscribe? Don't forget to do that, subscribe. And make sure you check out all of the other videos on the E! News YouTube channel because they are all fabulous.